And I think yeah. it's okay for dads to know that it's okay to not be on form all the time. Mm. But yeah. I think the least you could give your child is just just a face. To put a name to a face, like that <laughs> alone. Yeah, in my case, you know yeah, a name to a face. Like. It's good. Yeah, no, obviously you're you're definitely at a at a good place now. I can definitely say that hands on because mm. we know each other differently. Yeah, um, yeah. But you know, going back to let's take it back to when you were young, and oh, um, okay. was was there was there a time where you realized that your family family dynamics was different to maybe others? Yeah, hundred. I remember age. Like I would say, uh, probably like I remember. I remember a time specifically it was year three, yeah, uh, and I remember it was um, Father's Day, mm. and everyone's writing cards for their like their dad. Obviously, I knew I didn't have one in it. So it was a case where I couldn't, you know, I couldn't really write about someone that wasn't there. So I always used to write about like my uncles or I don't know, like a particular kind of friend in my mom's life that like I looked up to. So it was always stuff like that. And it never really dawned on me. Like it's just because he wasn't, he was never there. I just never really thought about it like that. So that, but I knew like my family dynamic was different, especially like even as I got older. So like, call it secondary school now, maybe like year seven, year eight. You know, when you ask your mom for money and she says no, and she's like, mm-hmm. oh, go ask your dad, innit? But if she says no, it's no, innit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> You're not going option, where you yeah. thought you was going. You're staying at home. Like, well, there's food at home. There's rice at home. Then one's there. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, <laughs> so it was that that kind of like dynamic. I just knew like, yeah, it was, it's different from everyone else's. Mm-hmm. Like, um, yeah, like school, school espe- especially, like, I, f- I kind of felt it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I'm going to football with my dad. Like, I'm like, yeah, cool. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I, yeah. can't, I, can't, I can't do yeah, that. I can't yeah. say I'm going... Not and how did that, make, how did that make you feel? Did that make yeah. you feel a way? Like, did it make you feel any kind of way? I think, you know what, jealousy is the... It's, it's powerful, you know? Because I, I actually, mm. you know, you feel it. You're like, shit, like, that's that's mad. Like, I envy you guys. Do you know what I mean? Like, going football mm. with my dad, yeah, he's taking me here. You know what I mean? Like, not to say I can't do it with my mum, but you're less likely to do it with your mum than you are with your dad. So... Yeah, of course. It's yeah. a thing. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's kind of, yeah, I... I I, I envied a lot of people yeah? and it's mad like when I was in year two I remember I used to play for Brunswick Football Club in like Fulham and my friend Louis was like one of my best friends like his mum and dad was st- like together and I got into football because of his dad and his dad used to take him every every single week so he said oh yeah just come along like even stuff like that it, it kind of like, the jealousy kind of disappeared and I was like oh my gosh like someone actually cares you know what I mean it's mm. like mm. I guess like I was saying before it's that's just mad wholesome like you said it, it takes a village so yeah, that was yeah. Did you ever did you ever feel like it was a a void? At what point did have you ever felt firstly, have you ever felt like it has been a void in your life? And if it has, mm. what at what at what stage? So, you know, you talked about um in school writing Father's Day cards and so on. Yeah. And, but what point do you feel like actually there's a there's something missing if if it felt like that? Do you know what? It's 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 much shit. I didn't really feel like that until like the other week. <laughs> like, mm. I swear to God, like <laughs> it it's even before I knew the topic of this podcast or whatever, like it just so happened that I was talking about my dad a lot, re- a lot more frequently with other family members. So it was kind of like, no, oh, maybe there is like something missing. Maybe there are questions I want to ask. Maybe like, maybe this, maybe that. But literally up until a few weeks ago, it wouldn't have mattered. I didn't feel like there was a void because there were so many people that were in my life that, um, gave me guidance or I went to for help so I was just like it just didn't really seem like a void it just seemed like alright he's not there that's it like, it's, it's done and up until three weeks ago I was like oh like, I've got a lot of questions to ask so, yeah it's just it didn't really feel that much and you say you've got a lot of questions to ask if you if you were to see your dad today what are some of the questions that you would ask him just, boy, probably like the five W's who, what, why, when <laughs> like, do you know what I mean like, that's, that's, <laughs> do you know what yeah. I mean like just why like what you know, I'd, yeah, just why? Pretty much, just tell me. I want to hear your side of the story. That's how I'd say. Like, you know what I mean? Because yeah. like, it's, it's feel- all well and go on, go on. Sorry. No, 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 no. You continue. Oh continue. no, I was gonna say it's it's all well and good. Like hearing it from obviously the people that are in my life's perspective of what happened or why he's not there. But I would really like, I really much like to hear it from him. Do you feel like anything he says will be satisfactory to you, though, in terms of what his reasons are? Because, like you said, you've heard everyone else's mm-hmm. side of the coin. But and yeah, I think that's yeah. a good question. And if so, what 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 reasons as well would could you think of? Because there must have been times where you sat there and thought to yourself, 
is it because of this? Is it because of that? You know, he might be around because of it. There might be a justifiable reason that he might mm. not be around in in your head. Not you know. <laughs> to be honest, I, I don't even know. But I've, you know, you rack answers in your brain. You're just like probably none of the answers that he could give probably justify it. Like just to mm. like just to see me. Like you don't even have to mm. be in my life, but just to say hello. Like do you know what yeah. I mean? Like, mm, just yeah. something like that. It doesn't take a lot to do. Like, just to say, oh hi, I'm your dad. Yeah, I'm not around, but just want you to know. I am alive, I am here, this is why I'm not here. That's all mm. it would have took. And I would have been like, all right, like, cool. I might not have understood, say, if you had told me at a young age, but mm. I mean, you can kind of be like, all right, cool. Like, he, at least you said something. Like, to yeah. just say mm. nothing or, you know, and just not be there at all, that's, that's, that's a bit mad when you ask me, if you ask me to. And just for, just for context, have you seen yeah. him before? Never, never seen him. Never seen Ever. him. Okay. Yeah. Never spoken to him. That's crazy. Never that's spoke crazy. to him. Yeah. Apparently, I've walked, I've walked past him in the street and he didn't know that's me. Crazy. I didn't know him. So that's, that's, you know, that's, that's some, that's some crazy. That's, that's, crazy wild, that's, that's wild in my eyes, man. Yeah. yeah. That's wild I'm in sure. my eyes. <laughs> I mean, sure. I, I really, even leading up to this, the show today, I was trying to think what could be the reasons? Because, you know, you try to give a balanced argument for and against. And if you're yeah. thinking, what could be the reasons why someone could justify not as you said not even just saying hello you know what i'm saying not even yeah, just yeah, saying yeah. hi yeah. i'm your dad i'm here you know you might hear yeah. from me once a month don't expect anything from me you know don't yeah, expect yeah. me to be mm. paying for college for you or anything like that but mm-hmm. i'm just here yeah. so you know my face like yeah yeah something for me like that's that. just standard yeah, yeah. 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 for me that's feel, standard. Feel, if, yeah and it feels so far <laughs> away from i suppose our rea- our reality um ryan you know we live with our kids and our partners mm-hmm. you know so mm-hmm. So the, the concept of it is so far removed, and that's the, you know that is that's why we, we wanted to really speak about it because you know we, we want to make sure we you know this the, the reason behind this podcast is to kind of cover all bases of the of the, yeah, part yeah, of the yeah. journey, you yeah. know, and um, you know we felt like it's something that we you know we couldn't really speak about, you know, we wanted to really yeah, see yeah. What, it, what, it, what it was like, you know. Mm. No, you're right, you're right, and as I said, it it baffles me, and you know, I think sometimes dads struggle to understand we're all going through it you see what i'm saying we're Mm. all like as parents especially i feel we're all wigging it i feel there's no perfect parent (laughs) even like (laughs) even like for me as a father who lives with my kids from the outside i know people commend me and say how what a good job i'm doing and i think i am doing a good good job and that's partly due to my missus as well we both work together to raise our kids you see what i'm saying there's some days Mm. i think there's a difference between being being present and being there and some days i'm not present i'll be honest i'm not present sometimes i'm just here Mm. (laughs) and i might Mm. be in my own little zone but i'm Mm. not really engaging and that happens time to time and Mm. i think it's okay for dads to know that it's okay to not be on form all the time Mm. but i think the least you could give your child is just just a face to put a name to a face like (laughs) alone in my case yeah name to a face like i know the name I what think he that's does, the like, God knows. <laughs> yeah. And you know, and the, the yeah. sad thing is, I feel like it, it shouldn't be, it, it shouldn't come to, you know, a funeral or, or a nine night in, in the like, Caribbean community where people <laughs> yeah. have been realising, you know, yeah. realising what kids are out there and yeah. who's, mm-hmm. whose son is who and who's actually the dad. And I think that's mm-hmm. the wrong time to really then be mm-hmm. discovering whose family. You know, and it's, it's, yeah. it's not it's not the right, thing, the right thing. But to be fair, it's always the nine nights though. That's just that's just been happening for years. <laughs> always, <laughs> always. Like, it's, it's, always it's a normal thing. thing oh, yeah, that's, that's your cousin <laughs> from um, yeah, way back. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, I know yeah. if it's just you're this small. Like, I don't know who this it's is. Like, do you know what I mean? Always like, some yeah. kind of scandal. Them, ones, isn't it? them yeah. random ones. Yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> <laughs> a scandal. You know, it's just yeah. No, always, always. Literally, I'm telling you. And it's funny because I think it might be something with the Caribbean I'm obviously I'm from the Caribbean myself but you know it's funny like how some Caribbean people you know first generations look at certain things and even when I go to the barber shop sometimes it's like the barbers are they're shocked that I've got four <laughs> kids with one woman mm-hmm. and I'm like okay so how many kids have you got and that like, yeah man me, me have 10 kids man and say like, how many how many um baby moms you got oh I've got I've got five I've got four mm-hmm. and I'm looking at them like so Crazy. you think you think it's funny that I've got four kids with one woman, <laughs> but you've got yeah, ten <laughs> spread across four of them. It's it's yeah. It's, it's a different mentality. <laughs>